Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at the next feature right here, which is Revolve. So Revolve requires two things. You first need an axis of rotation, and you also need a little sketch. So see that sketch there? We're going to actually try to replicate that. But we're not going to just stop there. We're actually going to be doing something kind of cool, and we're going to be actually drawing a shaft and then using that shaft to reference the geometry from it so we can make that flange around it. So let's do that. So first things first, we are going to create a sketch. And we're going to create it on this bottom plane. We're just going to create a shaft here that's 30 millimeters big, finish our sketch, and then from the last video, use our extrude tool to bring it up. Let's say 70 millimeters, doesn't really matter, honestly. So now we're going to create another sketch. This sketch has to be in the center of this plane right here, or the, in the center of the cylinder, really. So what we can do is, since we drew it right on that center point there, we can just select either of these two planes here. We'll select this one, and now what we're going to do is click on Slice. You'll see though that when we highlight the top layer here, or the top line here I mean, you're going to see that you don't actually see a midpoint symbol. That means that this is not projected geometry, so we can't interact with it and reference it. So we're going to go down here, click Project, and select it, and press OK. That, now you can see we have the midpoint because it's going to be giving us those lines. So what we're going to do is first draw our flange. So we'll select anywhere, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, we're going to go, let's say, like this height. We'll draw out, and then down, and then in. You know, just like that drawing had in the, uh, in the photo. And go here, and then connect the two sides. There we go. And now you can see it's actually an object. Um, so next thing we need to do is draw a construction line. Now what we're doing here is actually creating our axis of rotation. So we need to find that center point, which we know is at the origin right here. We're going to click on it, and it doesn't matter how tall it is, it could be this tall. As long as we have that point right there, that line. So now you can see we have that sketch, and we have that line. We're going to press Finish Sketch. So what we're going to do next is go to our Revolve tool. We're going to click on it, and we've already selected our profile, which was this sketch right here. Next we need to select our axis of rotation, which is our little construction line right there. And bam, as soon as we select it, it's already ready to revolve it. So what we're going to do is take a look at how it works. First of all, you can choose how many degrees you want. Secondly, if you want to be able to control it more evenly, or more finely really, you can choose two side. Now what that's going to do is allow you to select each side individually. Well, let's see, one side, there it goes. So you can see from that sketch, it will allow you to control exactly where you're going with it on both ends. And now you're going to see that when we choose symmetric, we can control both simultaneously, which of course now one side, let's bring it in, close that. Let's try that one more time. So here when we're revolving it, it's going to be doing both simultaneously. So that means you only need to go half the distance or 180 degrees rather than 360. Additionally, what we're seeing here down here is that the operation. Now join means that it will create this and this will be one solid body. However, what we want to do is make new body because that way we can ensure that we can move both separately. So now you'll see that if we go here to bodies, we have, oh, we have this one and we also have this guy. So that means if we want to move one or the other, we have that option to do so. If we had chosen join, then we wouldn't actually be able to move either of these. They would be one solid unit, and I don't know, maybe that's what you're going for, but I think that this was what we needed for this little project. So that's pretty much the Revolve tool. It's very versatile and very useful if you ever need to do anything symmetric, because it takes a lot of the pain out of drawing things and cutting and doing all that. It makes it super nice and simple. So thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.